Gosh, Kate, do you ever feel a little bit guilty that there are some parts of the country like dealing with weather like that and then we're just sitting here nice and pretty? Never. Never? <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's why I live here. That's exactly <laughs> why I live here. I told my husband when I got my degree in meteorology that we would never live anywhere in the Gulf okay. and we would never live along the East Coast because I don't want to deal with like nor'easters right. and things like that. So yeah. I am here for a very specific yep. reason. <laughs> I love our weather. I love forecasting our weather and I do love the forecast that I have ahead for you. I do wish that we had some mountain snow coming your way because I know a lot of you want to go up and ski and snowboard this weekend but at least we didn't have an atmospheric river or any warmth that came and melted the snow that we already had up there that's usually what can like kind of turn a, a holiday weekend ski trip into something that's not so fun Look how chilly our highs were today. I expected them to be colder than yesterday, and they were only by a couple of degrees. But look at that south in the valley, especially where that fog and those clouds barely, if ever, lifted. Stayed in the 30s and then the low 40s. Same thing out. It was warmer in central eastern Oregon, and it was warmer along the coast where there was plenty of sunshine and light winds to go around. Temperatures right now on the coast already into the 30s. We're in the low 40s, so the metro and valleys and still into the 30s down as you head to the east as well as over. We're going to have some 17 or at least teen degree temperatures overnight tonight. Here's a look at the differences in those temperatures. At the moment, it is really a mixed bag. It's warmer in Astoria, Salem, and the Dalles. Then it's the same in Hood River, Portland, Tillamook, Newport, and then it's a little colder south to the valley and then there in Kelso. So quite a mixed bag all the way around. Tomorrow, again, clouds and fog calm and dry, kind of on a wash, rinse, repeat from what we've had. But there are some changes. There are places in the metro and valleys that will see some sunshine tomorrow. If not looking at this, you can't guess. It will mostly be to the north end of these areas and then south again, even farther south than Albany. Those areas should continue to see some fog and clouds for a bit longer. This is tonight. You'll start to see the fog developing, clouds already south in the valley. Get into tomorrow morning. Here it is, 7 a.m. You can see all all the way through and up into the metro. But look at this, 2 o'clock, not much, maybe a few places. We actually get to see some sunshine, but it doesn't last too long because by the time we get to Sunday morning, that's back. But look at that, never made it to the metro, stayed south of the metro, but still in the valley going into Monday morning and hangs around a bit to go into Monday afternoon. Bottom line, you will see some sunshine a little more at times than others, but it's just not completely sunny, especially for the metro. The traveling through the holidays, still good at the gorge, still good across the Cascades, and still good along I-5 going north or south. All clear roads. Seven-day forecast. Two more days with the more intense morning fog and cooler temperatures. By the time we get to Monday, we're actually going to be at or above average for the rest of the week. So more sunshine, warmer temperatures, still dry, and still tracking that first chance for showers Thursday, Friday, and some models are even going as far as into Saturday before we could see any wet weather.